custom rom is one of the top most reason why i love android so just like that i have a custom rom for the moto g5 s plus user and it is one of the best pi roms pi or the pi based roms that is built for this device so without wasting any further time let's dive right into it <laughs> So this is our OS and as I said earlier it is based on Android 9 Pi the latest and the greatest Android that Google has offered us till date. The main reason why I love this ROM is that this ROM provides a pure pixel experience but with a twist and the twist is this a never ending list of customization like literally never ending like look at it oh my bad it ended. <laughs> Like you can customize the status bar like double tip tap to sleep and you can also uh, customize your clock settings like you can change the position of clock like from left right or center you can also toggle the am pm settings and you can also toggle the setting like show seconds if you want seconds in your clock also you can customize the font color and the font style of the clock also you can add date to your status bar and many more you can customize the clock like the clock font clock color etc and apart from clock you can also customize the battery like the battery style you can choose between portrait circle dotted circle hidden or even text like right now i have a dotted text but you can change it to any style you want The next is the interface and this is heaven like right here you can choose and customize the way your ROM feels and look like right here you can choose between the background colors like automatic light dark and black and black is by far one of the sexiest and the best looking theme but this theme has little problems like you cannot see things directly in bright sunlight like you need some cover or some dark areas to see uh, straight right into your display but it is good if you use your phone in pretty dark conditions next up is QS themes and this is pretty new for many people but it's dope like you can choose uh, the way your QS panel look like like currently it's just white like you cannot see any icons but it's there but you cannot see but once i switch on use wallpaper colors and give it a little time to refresh and apply you can see it. my wallpaper was little reddish yellow and purple but purple was a dominant color so it chose that color so the next thing we have the font manager and as the name suggests you can choose between tons and tons of fonts that you want to have throughout your os or the, your custom rom like look at it you have tons of options next up is the switch appearance and if you are confused these are the switch and you can choose between default sorry default material design and the oneplus but i prefer the oneplus so i am switching back to it so next up we have dashboard icons and if you are confused uh, let me show you dashboard are these icons like right here you can see it's changed to the oreo style now if i change to default you will know the difference like on pi it is colorful as you can see here all right guys gone are those days where you have to install a subtratum theme just to get curves hmm? on your display man on, on your display like as you can see here but once i um, go ahead and toggle this uh, default value the screen is back to normal like 2016 <laughs> all right now once i disable it and add some value like corner radius so you can see the corners are again rounded 
Now those were some of my favorite customization features but apart from that you can go ahead and explore yourself with the havoc settings like there are many things to explore like the reasons you can choose between these four recent styles but i prefer the pi one also there are miscellaneous ima settings etc etc just go ahead and explore not only a good performance and great customization features makes a rom good now what makes a rom good is a rom with great battery life just like that havoc os is giving me a great battery life like i am getting straight six to seven hours of screen on time without any hassles or anything and sometimes i am left with about 38 to 20 percent of charge left with moderate usage and heavy usage it's about five to six hours of screen on time like it's pretty good for a phone with 3000 mh battery all right another thing that makes me love this rom is the options that it gives for gestures like you have many gesture options like the system gestures the one which android pi offers us like swipe up from home that's pretty basic now we have swipe for screenshot like swipe three fingers to take a screenshot and apart from that we have swipe up gestures which i won't show it you explore it all right now next is the edge gestures and i love these gestures like they are pretty awesome and damn good and damn handy like you can swipe from left or right just to go back and swipe up and hold to both reasons like uh, one in iPhones <laughs> all right but it is buggy so the bug is that can you see that dock that dock is overlaying the recent card as you can see here let me give you a closer look like can you see the dock is on top of that recent card it is a minor bug or some ui glitch but it won't bother, bother many people but it was bothering me so i went back to the old school navigation gestures not the old school but the pie gestures all right apart from the edge gestures we have good news for the pie gesture lover it also offers pie controls like i remember those days uh, when resurrection remix for 6.0.1 used to give the pi pi control options this is still here enable pi control and you can toggle it from either left or right as you can see I choose the option i am righty so i'll go for right and as you can see here these are the pi controls Now if you are wondering how can we root this ROM, it's pretty easy, just flash the latest Magis which is version 18.1 and you will be rooted. Also I am using some Magis modules, just make sure that you comment down below if you want another video for my top 3 best Magis modules. Alright, moving on. The camera, the camera was one of the reasons which I used to hesitate to go on because the camera the focus was pretty average and not reliable also the google 6 google camera 6.1 is working pretty fabulously with all the uh, modes working except for the video recording at 1080p with 60 fps video stabilization enabled like the app crashes as you can see here all right moving on uh, the google camera 5.1 is working pretty fine with all the modes working like slow motion pano etc also good news for moto cam lovers the moto camera is working phenomenal with all the modes working portrait mode cutout night shot black and white spot color etc etc so that's a pretty good news also, all the camera links are given in the description down Here below. Here are some of the camera samples, which should have the over. links. Alright, so what are the bugs on this ROM? The bugs, I would say, is cast. Cast is working good with YouTube cast, but it's not working great with Myra cast, or it won't work with Myra cast. Alright, if you are into kernels, this ROM has been compiled with the latest Linux kernels, that is 3.1834. 
and this kernel man oh man this kernel is superb and getting great performance with great battery life what else do you want on a custom rom all right for the conclusion can this rom be used as a daily driver hell yeah this rom can be used as a daily driver as it offers you pure smooth pixel experience with great battery life and tons of customization like what else do you want you are getting a custom rom with pure pixel experience okay if you want a detailed written guide go ahead to my website which will be the link down in the description below also make sure that you subscribe to this channel and make sure that you leave rom request if you want to see any more reviews for the roms made for the moto g5s plus also make sure you leave a like and i hope you enjoyed this video bye